Do not worry. Well, howdy, folks. How's it going? Welcome to a brand new episode of Do Not Worry. I am your host, Anthony, joined by the interns, Noor and Nadim. How's it going, guys? Hi, guys. What's up? You good? Uh, folks, this week on the podcast, we are trying rainbow cakes in all shapes and sizes to see if it makes us gay. Uh, Barbie is coming to the Middle East. After all, we've been saying it's canceled for a while. Well, they've changed their mind. Uh, Joseph Shada has started boxing lessons. Uh, uh, what may have compelled him to do so? We'll, we'll, talk, like. we'll talk about that. And uh, some dude called Mark Awaraji uh, talks about porn on Instagram and some other things. We're going we're gonna to look into it. And a lot of other things, folks. we got a lot of interesting topics, so stick with us for this fun time before we get going i just wanted to uh, remind you guys that you can support us on patreon the show cannot exist without your support uh, i cannot hire the interns and pay them without our patrons so thank you guys we love you and i'm going to be thanking a few of you guys a little bit later in the episode uh so saha saha bless you <laughs> starting with oh so i hope you guys liked our new intro song by the way uh, this was by beat lalipos thank you so much he just made that he sent it to nadim uh, thank so you. thank you so much i don't know if it's going to become our official new song but this was an awesome new track thank you my guy we appreciate you he's a very prolific producer he's worked with yes. some of the best lebanese rappers and stuff fan of the show thank you means a lot to us my man uh it's very very Thanks so much very sweet uh music we also just a quick update for you guys spider-verse uh, spider-man across the spider-verse is now out online on digital so you can like rent it online if you want you know what that means folks hd versions are available online for us to watch it was banned here in, in the middle east because there was a section of it where they said protect trans kids. It was a little poster hanging on the wall for a couple of seconds. That was enough to ban the film from the Middle East. So we can finally watch it. I'm going to watch it after we're done recording this episode tonight. I'm looking forward to that. So public service announcement. Uh, watch that movie. Are you guys excited to watch Spider-Verse? Yes. Probably going to watch it tonight. Yeah, the first one is fucking amazing. So I'm very excited for this one. Speaking of movies being banned or not banned... Barbie, we finally have official word. We finally have an official update, folks, about Barbie. It is coming out. They have reversed their decision. Now, this, this whole thing is getting a little bit confusing. I want to talk about it for a second. Let's here we got a tweet from a friend of the show, Anis Tabit. He said, we got the okay to release Barbie this Thursday in KSA. Lebanon is still scheduled for August 31st. Empire Cinemas Nazalo, a tweet saying, hi, Barbie. So Barbie is going to be out in, all of, in KSA and in all of the UAE, so Dubai, etc., on August 10th. So by the time this episode comes out, you can go watch Barbie. And Bilibnein, it is still coming out on the scheduled August 31st, which they had said that was when it was going to come out. Here's, here's why I think this, this all is a little bit weird. I literally called the cinema like five days ago. They were like, sir, it's banned. Manaul al I was like, why? They're like, we don't know. Friend of the show, uh, Ryan, called Vox, came in a few days ago. Alulo, it's straight up banned because of LGBT stuff. So were they confused? Did someone give them like wrong information here's what i think happened i think they were planning on banning the movie i think the movie was not going to come out again they postponed it like in august so that we all forget about it but i think they ate a lot of shit online social media was relentlessly making fun of the decision to ban barbie like why are you even banning the movie like what what is it about the film that even requires or warrants it to be banned is it like the fact that there's a, a trans actor in the movie that, that, that no one knows and i think they were planning on banning it and they've just reversed their decision and judged us way online. Again, it was ridiculous to ban it. Uh, are you excited, uh, Noor, to finally watch? Did you ever play with Barbies as a, as a young I girl? I think I did. Who didn't? I know, know, press everyone did. did. <laughs> I'm just asking. I played with Barbies. Not not the way you think, but I used to have Action Man. You know what I mean? Uh, I like Action Man. I can have the Max Steel, the guy with the metal arm. Max Steel. I used to make Max Steel the little brother. Far. Max Steel is cool. So I had Action Man with the... Uh, he was I like an older brother. Though, with the motor, uh, motorcycle. Like, but it's like the Barbie size and the big dudes. Yeah, the, the big one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I had a couple of action men. They were the older brothers. And then Max Steel with the robotic arm was the yeah. cool bad boy. So he was constantly dating my sister's Barbies. And she, my, sister <laughs> had a, my sister had a Barbie pool. So I do like pool parties. Have the bitches chilling by the sun. Okay. <laughs> the bitches lying by the pool. And you got Max Steel. <laughs> but Yo. I'm glad that we're um, going to get to watch it. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. looks like a fun movie. It looks mm. funny. Uh, I'll take my Max Steel figure. I, I don't have them anymore. Thus, I wish. Respect to Max Steel. Do they still make... Like, is Action Man still a thing? That's, about human, That's such a stupid name for an action figure, action too. Like, man. Action Man. I am the Action Man. Like, what the... <laughs> so creative. Action Man. I love you. Yeah, yeah. They used the to make cartoons, cartoons too. Yeah. That shit was dope. I used to have a car. I used to have the Action Man car. Man, I used to have an Action Man with a parachute. 
Like you could throw them and like it was land. It was fucking cool. <laughs> We're not the only ones excited for Barbie, folks. Uh, C A K and <laughs> and Mayusha, yeah. they are excited about Barbie, guys. Let's let's Haram C A K, bro. I feel bad for him. He has to film this with supermarket, but Duish today he wants to buy some protein bars, and she's like, but, but not so weird. Hi, Barbie. I can. You wanna go for a ride? Sure, can. Jump in. Copyright, just uh, now we can replay. World, in plastic. It's fantastic. This is, what, so what are you doing, Cag? Like, like, what are you doing? This is so bad. Plan it at least. Take a second to plan this in advance. <laughs> and you're the this is you're the worst Ken. I love Cac, we respect you, but smile. You are no Ken, Cac, okay? Cac. Muffy. I've never seen a bald uh, Ken before. I'm sorry. No offense to the, anyone who's bald. Love to the bald community. Because I've not seen <laughs> I've not seen a bald Ken just yet. Maybe it's time to change that. Maybe we need to become more progressive and feature bald Kens. Uh, another update, folks. Barbie might actually not be coming out in Lebanon. It's coming out in the UAE. It's coming out in KSA. But we are now in Lebanon. We are the only ones who are not Barbie. Why? This is a tweet by Anis. He's quote tweeting LBC. After he sent a tweet about how he feels that he is feeding the social movement to compete with the religion and the religion. And then Anis says, whoever watched this movie and came up with that conclusion is an absolute idiot. Absolutely, they're fucking idiots. Our government is the fucking dumbest. Mafi fiin baduni nazlu. Either bi'khawf al-mujtama'a wa al-deen, or gay people, or trans people, or or people who've been to Israel. Mat nazlu shiba. La shu? Sakru al-cinemaayat. Hayatun muzayyafa. Aalamun bilawn waahad. Ma'ayir kathiba lil-jamal. Tasli'un lil-mar'a. Tarwijun lil-nasawiyyat wa al-shuduud. Darbun li-mafhum al-aila. Abtalun mutahawi جنسيا الفاظ النابية هذا هو مضمون فيلم باربي اللعبة التي كانت حلمة كل طفلة فيلم باربي فيلم عن عروسة لعب ليش فيه جدود الفيلم فيه كثير نكت عن الشواذ وحكي عن الشواذ الفيلم يدعم التحول وفي باربي متحولة انتقادات حادة يواجهها الفيلم الذي أجل الدور السينما العربية عرضه إلى آخر الشهر الجاري فبحسب منتقديه لا يصلح الفيلم للصغار ولا يقدم أي إضافة للكبار وإنما يعد ترويجا مدروسا للنسوية والشذوذ الجنسي واستهدافا للقيم الإنسانية علبة ألوان هذا هو السبب الذي ساهم بمنع أو تأخير عرض فيلم باربي بس فيه إن شاء الله كله إن شاء الله I'm sorry, but this is crazy. But Sabinet film The Exorcist, R.I.P. William Friedkin. Nizil bi cinema bi rebin bi Sabinet. The Exorcist was one of the most fucked up movies ever made. There's a scene in The Exorcist where a little girl holding a cross is stabbing herself in the vagina while saying, "Let Jesus fuck me," repeatedly over and over again. Hey, that film Nizil bi rebin bi Sabinet. Lish halla in 2023, khayfin min Barbie la no birawij al feminism. gay people because it's encouraging women to be feminists because it's showing you an egalitarian world and the world is all in pink and few unrealistic beauty standards what about fucking thor bro at the binzal thor ma few unrealistic beauty standards for men shuhayda al habal shuhayda al ghaba we're gonna stick to the movies being banned just for a little second uh topic then uh, this stuff interests me i i found this interesting uh thing on twitter talking about this other movie called Talk To Me, which came out in Lebanon. Talk To Me is currently out in Lebanon. It's an independent little horror film by A24. It's directed by these two Australian YouTubers. It's very low budget. It's gotten very good reviews. I, I kind of want to see it in theaters so if I can. Have A24, no way. Yeah, they yeah. dropped some good shit. But the movie has been banned in Kuwait because one of the actors in the film is a trans actor. But they never mention, like, the character in the film that the actor plays is never even, they never even refer the fact that that person is trans. They just straight up ban the movie Because the actor is trans, which sets a new precedent and for uh, banning yeah. films in the Middle East. Mm. And I want to talk about another movie that was released a few months ago, Bilibnin and in Kuwait, that had a trans actor, but they didn't ban it. Is it because they didn't know? Or Let's see. So this is the tweet by actor Zoe Tarakis, who I think was a female and is transi has transitioned to male. I think that's what the transition is. Uh, and here, just here are the the, f uh, the photos. So, talk to me, banned and quit over inclusion of trans actor. The move would appear to be the first time a film has been blocked from release in the Gulf over the gender identity of of one of its cast members, which is not mentioned in the film. Uh, and here is the statement that uh, Zoe wrote. Hello, I've been wondering how to respond to this, whether it deserves the dignity of a response. This isn't the first film Kuwait has banned. If there are queer or trans themes or scenes in your film, it's probably not going to make it to the Gulf, which is devastating and terrifying in its own right. But our film doesn't have queer themes. Our film doesn't actually ever mention my transness or my queerness. 
I am a trans actor who happened to get the role. I am not a theme. I am a person. Kuwait has banned this film due to my identity alone. Reportedly, this is a first. This is a new precedent. It is targeted and dehumanizing and means to harm us. As much, it is as much as it is very sad to be on the receiving end of this, what is even more heartbreaking is what this precedent means for the queer and trans people of Kuwait. Representation is hope. Representation is a light at the end of the tunnel, a reason to keep going, something to hold on to in the dark, a voice that whispers things can be better than they are. Eliminating trans actors on screens will not eliminate trans people as much as the government of Kuwait wish it wishes it would. But it will eliminate a lot of hope. And hope is such a large part of how we live as marginalized people. It's how we learn to move through the hatred and the mistreatment and the violence. We look to all the people who have done it before us and we look to the people who are doing it beside us. And that gives us hope to keep going. We are a community that has learned to depend on each other because cis people have historically been no help. Therefore, our survival is so dependent on our ability to look to each other, to share with each other, to lean on each other, to love each other, to see each other. My heart breaks for the trans people and queer people of Kuwait who have so few places to look. If you feel angry, sad, or confused by this, consider donating to the Rainbow Railroad, an organization that helps queer and trans people access safety and live and lives free from uh, persecution worldwide. Link to donate is in my bio. In love and anger, Zo X. It was a little bit long, but I felt it was important to read this. It's very well said, very emotional. Yeah. I wanted to point to another example of a film that came out a few months ago called Evil Dead Rise. I watched it in, in cinemas, uh, and it did come out. I double-checked. It came out in Kuwait a few months ago. It released on April 20th. I found some like reviews online by Kuwaiti people. The film came out. Well, one of the stars of the movie was a trans actor called uh, Morgan Davis. Morgan Davies. Uh, she was a female actress who transitioned into a male. Uh, he played like the son in the movie, like very casually. They never mentioned it. And I was watching. I'm like, this person kind of looks, could be, couldn't be trans. Didn't matter. They never mentioned it. It wasn't even part of the plot. Uh, this movie came out a few months ago. So would that movie have been banned? Did they just not know? Did they not realize? Is this a new thing where they're going to start checking the cast of every movie? And if there's someone's gay or someone's trans, they're going to start banning. That means nothing is going to come out anymore. Nothing is going to come out anymore. And people who are cheering the song, hey, hey, but trans, we ate a lot. We're going to talk about that a little bit later too. But uh, those idiots cheering these decisions on, uh, that means nothing is going to be released anymore because guess what? Gay people, like Zoe said, gay people and trans people exist whether you like it or not. They're going to be cast in movies whether you like it or not. So, is the best bet to have a lot of money in Lebanon? And a baby. And a baby, what do you want to do? You got to choose. Either we, we, we open our fucking minds a little bit and focus on the problems that are really not in Lebanon. It's not that the words are really not in Lebanon. Again, this whole thing, we talk about it daily. Instead of being angry at the government, they point to ye the Syrian refugees, ye the gays, ye the trans people. They run after these fucking distractions instead of being angry at the people who are actually causing you pain in your lives. But sometimes people are just too stupid and angry to realize that. That's, I just want to highlight this because this is a dangerous precedent. We follow suit. So if they start banning these movies, we're not going to get them. مش راح يعملوا اكسبشن كرمال لبنان لانه لبنان في 13 عالم بيروحوا بالسينات يحضروا فيه مسار بالذات الوقت اذا بينزلوا موفيز ساري اذا بدك اياها ما عم بعرف كيف جاز عم بيعرف كيف شيل صوت تبعها بليز قولوا له انيويز انا بحس اذا عن جد اذا بنزلوا موفيز زياده العالم دي وود بي اتراكتد اكثر حتى اذا خي انا فور اكزامبل وات وود بي لك هيك مثل احلى حال بلبنان اذا بجيبوا موفيز في يكونوا لايك اندبندنت ارتست بلبنان او وات ايفر او حتى برا بيعملوا التيكي بعدين ما يكون خيبة ما اعرف 600000 في يعملوا خيبة 300000 بجيب كثير عالم مم. يعني انا بحس يعني في there are a lot of ways like تيكي لنعلي هيدا ال so you want movies with trans people يكونوا ارخص التيكيتس فور ذيم I'm down I'm back on trans people I'm back on general كل الاندستري تبع السينما بلبنان بس لانه انت كنت عم تقول انه we're mainly based على شو بيقولوا بالـ UAE yeah yeah but then we can have a base بلبنان بلبنان but then في there used to be marketing budgets كانوا يعملوا premieres كانوا يوزعوا تيكيتس اني ستابت كان يفقع premier بالفوكس بطل في they don't do any of that I completely gave up on الموضوع like ما بقى ينزلوا ولا موفي حلو السال انه They're poorly maintained. Yeah, yeah. The people who are coming here, they're horrible. They don't have a lot of money. There's no etiquette. And the people who are in the house. And there's no one who wants to know, please skip, please take your phone. It's, it's so horrible. The, the when I was there, I didn't know that there was a place where I was. It's an industry. The cinema experience in Lebanon is bad. And I go despite, and knowing I'm going to 
probably encounter a lot of annoying people and a lot of things. Was I go because and I genuinely love going to the cinema. I love watching movies on the big screen. It, it changed my life when I was younger. Now, so for younger people, it's different. But so, for me, it's still an important thing. For I insist on going to the movies as often as I can. But so, no, I'm always like ready to like, oh fuck, this is so, something's gonna happen. Okay, man, sticking to the cinema topic, Shway Nadim, you got a chance to watch Oppenheimer? Hadrto bi Belvox IMAX. Ask before you give us your opinion on the movie. Have they fixed the AC? Yeah, I can see. AC. Bravo, I can see. Bravo, Vox. Yeah. There we go. I just said that. I said, yo, AC, yeah, or I'm not fooled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true. Well, overall experience, it was good. I mean, I can see all of it. I can see all of it. All of it. All of it. Great. I added a better spot. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to build spots. I'm going to do it. 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 I really like the movie. Technically, I fucking enjoyed it. في أساس إذا ما أنا جد تعرف أنا no way the frame إك تعمل ما بتحس إنه في شيء غلط بس واو قد حلو the cinematography واو 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 حتى the sound design that's في شيء that is really controversial. Christopher Nolan ما بيعرف يعمل mixing لا. Everyone he doesn't like to يعمل ADR he doesn't like to re-record people's lines later. Sometimes it's so fucking loud. Yeah yeah like starting with the Dark Knight Rises. Yeah. For some reason with with Bane. Where you couldn't understand shit from what Bane was saying. Oh, yes. Batman! Mm. Batman! Rah, rah, rah. It's like, right. what are you saying? And then starting from that, you make it. You couldn't understand shit <laughs> in any of his movies. <laughs> <laughs> Tenet, Tenet, Tenet is kind of on purpose though, Shway, because the emphasis is not on what they're saying. It's like, but no way. His his audio is a very controversial. Then Killian Murphy, no way, man. But the performance, Malak, Malak. I'm I'm on one side. I'm on the other 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 side. I'm on I can't see it. I can't see it. I can't see it. Oh, wow. Well, that's good. That's good. Anna, I want Anna, I'm rewatching next week. I want to try to rewatch it. Uh, the, some of the hype died down. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, because Team Hamas is a But now that they told me the AC is out. Uh, I want to try to watch Talk to Me first. Uh, and then I want to. Oh, okay. That I wanted to ask you, come in on the movie Talk, Talk to, to Me. Because I do want to watch well, it. If Ninja Turtles Nazil this Thursday, come in. I've heard really good things about it with the animation I'm style. About Ninja Turtles is like Spider Verse. It's very creative, wow. very yeah. uh, trippy. Well, since we didn't get to see Spider Verse, Bessine Hone, which I'm very sad because it's visually, I'm sure it's going to be mind blowing. I'm going to watch Ninja Turtles, Bessine. <laughs> 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 at 32. I did it, but I did it better. أنا دايما آي ماكس قد ما بحب التكنولوجي بيهايند آي ماكس كيف بحب شوف كيف في شيء اسمه سكرين ابريشن ما حد فلسف كثير تعرف عن إيه بس إنه في شيء اسمه سكرين ابريشن بعقد فإذا أنت قاعد بالسال بتصير تمشي شمال يمين أو تنزل لتحت تطلع فيك ترجع قصص كثير حلوين اه عن جد ارتفاكتس كثير حلوين بس هلا اعملها بهيك نص الشيء وي جونا كات اول اوف ذا سال طلع هو الثقيل بالسال لا ما كان في حدا حدا ما كان في حدا كثير ذيس ازنت ايفن ريل آي ماكس أنا هاف واتشد ريل آي ماكس ريل آي ماكس 70 millimeter right. yeah, it's like a six millimeter. seven IMAX. story building mm. you have to look up exactly. and down I've, I've seen I've watched the Dark Knight Rises and I've watched interstellar in 70 millimeter in the States when I had Whoa. to go 70 to the, millimeter I had to go to the air and space museum mission no, not even regular cinemas don't have that I had to go to the fucking museum yeah. where they usually be they all they only play like the Hubble telescope stuff with like nature documentaries and a real IMAX this is And it's film, yeah, and it's actual yeah. film projected. I've seen two yeah. Nolan movies like that. They're the only movies hey, I've ever seen in real IMAX. Watching the Dark Knight. Wow. Uh, 70 rises. I saw yeah. Rises. Dark Knight can be the main one. But Dark Knight Rises, Amazing. I fucking saw that shit. Oh, in it's not. Yeah, no, no, it's crazy. Yeah, it can be no. Like it's there's like 30 of those cinemas in the world. Kilo, they're very hard to yeah. find. The 70 millimeter film IMAX is where it's like Anjed, you're looking up and down to get the whole picture. Those are very rare, but. I'm happy to say, come I in. Mean, those were very. I'll never forget. Even though I don't love Interstellar, with Dark Knight Rises isn't my favorite. The experience made them so much better. Quick update, folks. You guys remember Little Chef Spontino, the most adorable chef we have name. Have a fuck you little video here. A quick reminder. <laughs> Oh, well, we've got the cutest little chef. Okay, the chicken looks amazing. The chicken, that yeah, sauce, yeah, that yeah. sauce I'm sounds good. Okay. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Hello. Best. We got a concerning email. We, 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 we talked about Chef, Spon chef Hadi a few months ago. I got a, a concerning email a couple days ago from someone who knows Chef Hadi and the family. Uh, it's from Helmi Majdoub. 
It says, Dears, I've been trying to reach you on many different platforms concerning a video about Chef Hadi, the one you guys bully him for five minutes. Although he took it with a big heart and loved it, but it would have had a much bigger negative effect on him since he is a kid. For future, just focus more on your words when you speak about children. Please review your video since I watched some of your videos and I like the podcast. And that's how I found this video by mistake while scrolling through your videos. And I wouldn't want a new Lebanese podcast doing so good having some traumatizing content like this since you know words can hurt kids at this age. Hope to hear from you soon. Regards, Hemi Majlou. Look, we took, obviously, I don't agree that we were bullying Hadi for five minutes. We actually we said multiple times we think he's adorable. Maybe we did kind of imitate him at a couple times. We overdid it, definitely. And I, I, I told Hemi, I agree, like watching it over. I'm like, yeah, we, we did probably overdo it. And I told him. But I don't think you said anything mean. No, nothing mean. No, nothing nothing like, mean yeah. at all. And I did say, like, when he's 18, he might not be as cute. But so I was just, again, I'm <laughs> kidding. Had you once, what the tick button, you'll watch this again, you'll know. Just, we're kidding. Anyways, I went back to the video on TikTok. I was like, you know what? I don't want to, is a, you know, is a, I'm bizarre, I'm bad, I'm bad, I'm video, but I'm happy. So I'm going TikTok. What do I find? A comment by little chef Hadi. Hado, she said, I'm the kid in the video. I think that's a funny vid. Don't hate on them. And yes, I do not, I do cook, not in the restaurant, but in my house. And then, <laughs> adorable. Uh -huh. and, and then, oh, we got a, uh, another message from maybe someone who's related to Hadi. It said, Spontino is inviting you all for lunch and meeting Chef Hadi. No way. So I replied to both. I said, Hadi, we love you. We're huge fans. And I told Hussein, we would love, it would be an honor for us to go to Spontino. Thank you for the invitation. We would love to meet Chef Hadi. If I'm not mistaken, the mahal. Besida or something. It's a little bit far. And I promise. As soon I as we can come. As soon as we can come. But I hate the sauce. We want to try. But we want to try. Shut it. You want to try. You want to try. You want to try. You want to try. You want to So we just wanted to clarify. And then. So then I, re I replied to, um, to Helmi. I'm like, hey, I just went to the video. Hadi replied. We also got invited to the restaurant. You want me to delete the videos? I'm more than happy to delete them. He's like, you can keep them up. It's fine. He liked the videos. And I agree. Look, next time we're talking about a little kid, I will make sure to be extra careful. Hadi, Kathir Minhabak, you're adorable. You. We hope to get to meet you. And thank you so much for the invite to the restaurant. Honestly, their, their, their fried chicken looks amazing. Looks I gotta say. Great. It looks bomb. Uh, very excited to, to, to meet you. Hopefully, very soon. This is a video that Nadim actually sent us a few weeks ago, which I completely forgot to feature on the show. Nadim, who sent uh -huh, you this? Yeah. Karen, my friend Karen. Your friend Karen, so she watches the show apparently? Yeah, she watches the show. Karen, thank you so Hi. much for watching. Very sweet. Uh, we, we appreciate the support. So, Nahna, a few weeks ago, we did a, a tier list for Lebanese foods, Maghrabi, Kousa, Bazalla, Kilshi. We ranked it, folks, naturally, as one does. So, uh, they enjoyed, uh, Karen enjoyed the episode that they decided to like play, you know, to, to rank the food with her family, with her grandmother, with her brother, I guess, or cousins. Or <laughs> Let's just watch a few seconds of these lovely people, okay, innocently uh, ranking Lebanese food. <laughs> Nana likes that awarma. This is Nobody likes bazalla. It's just bazalla. Oh, 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 it's just bazalla
Yeah. That's how you, they were giving it away every time I mentioned, like, ooh. I'm like, I know you're going to give it a, a high score. Peta likes that. She's like, ooh. By the way, the link is available. Hayala had a field for photo. He had a list. You guys can play the game, yeah? Should we talk about the Boston cop slide? Let's watch it really quickly. Yeah, let's quick. Let's watch it quickly. There's, so there's this, this went viral on, 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 on the socials. Uh, there's this slide. <laughs> Oh, no. For some reason, be Boston. Uh, let's, let's just watch. Okay, there's a cop sliding down this slide. Why was it so? No one, no one knows what the fuck is going on. Like how? Why do you think it's a dummy cabin? It looks like a rag doll, literally like a dummy. No one understands. Keeps chatting Why? Why is your head like that? Keeps Let's watch it again. It's so fucking absurd. And it's funny because he's a cop. No one likes cops. So. Bro, what the fuck have you done? Hala, so people started wondering, like, okay, is, is this slide, like, dangerous? So people started to go to that slide just to experiment it and test it and see what's up. Here's a little child. Okay, I'll be in Zen. So gracefully. <laughs> so gracefully. So innocently. You know what I mean? Let's watch that again. La, look at that. Beautiful. Let's watch that again. <laughs> Dude, the guy was treated with injuries. Hala, there's other people that went, older people, like adults. Come in, Mazahato. The theory is, it depends what you're wearing, because it's a metal slide. So maybe who would maybe she be Zahit or she? I don't know, he sat <laughs> down, bro. That's just my head. Yeah, 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 dude. So. Best, uh, no, I don't know. Apparently, be careful what you wear if you're going down the metal slide. <laughs> the cop, of course, of course. It's so fucked up, bro. Anyways, God bless this video. Let's watch the little boy one more time to take it. Ah. <laughs> it looks so fun, you know? Fucking cops have to ruin everything. <laughs> Anyways, what do we got next? Ah, uh, Mark Awaraji. This guy, I don't know who, someone sent it to me, I think. Maybe Hanik. Someone sent this to me on Instagram, if I'm not mistaken. I can't remember who it was. Sorry if I, if I misquoted, uh, if I misappropriated uh, this. This was the first, this is, look, this, we got to start with this one. Okay. This is the first, the first impression I had of this guy. Did you remember the first time I porn? بعرف انه حسيت انه هيدا الشيء مش طبيعي وما اعرف هيدا الاحساس الاول اللي حسيته هو المقياس الربع تاكيتا تعرف تميز الصح من الغلط ما تمسح وتنمي ضميرك وتخليه يصير شيء طبيعي beautiful well first thoughts i remember the first time i saw porn it was by accident cinematic by the way بس انه ليه and i like first of all how you're going to notice in every video he has he does this it does like start. It doesn't start, but then it goes like this, which is super weird. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and I remember the first time I watched Porn Kid Bilgalat, I was out in the living room, I was zapping through the channels. Then I saw like this fucked up, like black and white. It was like Killum Bharbash, like super grainy. Some old man, like middle aged. There wasn't even like hot people having sex, was, like having sex with this woman. I was like, what's going on? Like, I was kind of scared, honestly. I was just like, just confused and, and afraid. Like, what is this man doing to this woman? <laughs> then I don't remember when I ever saw it again. So I just remember that being like a dark moment in my life. <laughs> like, <laughs> what the fuck is this? Let's but watch. How do you feel about him? Like the guy? I feel bad. And Haram, he's look, you know, I love Jesus, TV director, TV presenter. Like his heart is in the right place, I'm sure. He has Al Fusabami followers on Instagram. Just my, I, I'm, I'm just going to have a problem with him is if he starts throwing out like hateful rhetoric, like using his mm. love for Jesus to like discriminate against other communities. You know what I mean? Like Jesus in the Bible said that you can't do this, so fuck these yeah, people. Yeah, okay. I, that's what. I, if he's just spreading in the porn, porn isn't great, yeah. And I mean, and there are people that are addicted to porn. It can give young kids this very distorted view about love and yeah. sex, and yeah, and it, it's not like porn is this great fucking thing. You can make a lot of arguments against porn, and you can make some arguments why porn can be good. But no, I'm not gonna die on a hill defending porn, yeah. So no, it's fun. Hey, who doesn't like some porn? Anyways. وقتها كنت واجه ناس صعبة ومأزيين بحياتي كنت مفكر انه سلاح الأزية بخلينا اربح بس هلأ صرت مأكد انه سلاح الوحيد لأربح هو انه حبهم لأنه الانسان اللي بيأزي هلأ I did 
test a couple of these out for copyright. مش الحال. I'm just gonna just in case, you know. بيكون مجروح. المحبة بالنسبة إلي هي السلاح الوحيد اللي قادرة تشفي وتغير الإنسان عم يأذي المجروح. أنا جربته وربحت. جربه. Wow, he got me on that one, but okay, he's gonna do it on the third one. Check it out. كون مأكد وعارف مين نوع الأشخاص اللي بحياتك. إذا أنت إنسان عميق بس قاعد مع ناس سطحيين ما راح يفهموا عم أكل الحياة. Let's just watch him do the hand thing. I don't even care what he says. بالحياة كنت مفكر إنه الإنسان الوائح أو المأجي هو حدا قوي والكل بخاف منه. هلا تأكدت إنه هيدا الإنسان بيكون. We don't care, bro. Here, let's watch it here. He does. He started. العالم شوه معنا الحب صار كتير سطحي وأناني ومأجي. بس الرب. Is a TV presenter. كلهم بيعملوا هيك. But it's not a normal thing. You know, no one does this normally. Unless sometimes I'm sitting down and I'm like this. Okay, I've done that a couple times. I'm saying no. كل ما تحكي. Listen, you just look stupid. And by trying to look smart, by doing this every time, you just look stupid like you don't know what you're talking about. Like Moving on, folks. Yeah. You guys know me and my boxing. I've been boxing for five months now. I've started my six months of training. It's going great. I just had a checkup on the Hakim. I'm in the full physical. I'm in the blood test. Results are great. I'm healthier than ever. Boxing has done wonders for me. For my, for my discipline, my mental health, my physical health. I love it. I even tried. I even I've spoke. To, I've spoken to Josef Shad about it months ago, and I was trying. I was working with with some good peeps, trying to. I was looking into possibly doing like an influencer boxing event. It, it went nowhere because it's way too complicated. It's honestly way too dangerous. The more I learn about boxing and the more I train in boxing, the more I think it's honestly a horrible idea to get the people that I was thinking of putting in a boxing ring. They're gonna get motherfucking murdered. So Did the fight about Jake Paul. And uh, Nate Diaz, yeah. Just, I only know. watched it because of Nate Diaz. <laughs> the first was Joseph Shada. Joseph Shada was one of the people that I wanted to put in a boxing ring, naturally. Uh, here he is, in Kamyom. And Joseph, we haven't spoken about him in a while. I'm going to on TikTok. But I found this randomly. Uh, check this out, folks. I wonder who inspired the Shada boxing. The animation. This is the copyright. Maximum. Let's see. He sped it up for some reason. This is horrible, horrible form, Yashada. It's still too early for you to upload these kinds of videos. You have to upload this. Anna, I do shit that is. I'm like, ah, this isn't good enough. I'm kind of embarrassed to post this. Hey, the badak bakir. Unless you want to show a before and after, this is a great before. But. <laughs> No, I, think, I think like, he, he does it for the video. He does it for the video. Mahek? Yeah, you gotta move. Kill the leg, footwork, like there's nothing correct about this. He's trying. At least his guard is up. That's one good thing. And I know I inspired you to box. You'll never admit it. He'll never say it. But I'm proud of you. Okay, I'm happy you're trying. This is gonna be good for your health. Okay. I hope you're not doing any creepy shit. I hope you're doing okay. Stay good, Ryan. Tamalna fi. Okay, but good al boxing, Yashad. I've seen it. I acknowledge it. I'm proud of you. Okay? All right, son. Good work. All right, maybe his dad doesn't tell him he's proud of him. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm proud of you. you know? okay. Maybe your dad's not giving you what you need. So look to me for, for that fatherly. Hey, the bravo. bravo. Figure. Let's work on your footwork, okay? Uh, Jake Paul versus Nate Diaz. I only watched it because I like Nate Diaz. Fuck Jake Paul. F J fuck the Paul Bro, brothers. Logan or Jake. No, no, it's like Jake. Uh, Nate Paul. Nate Diaz is not like a boxer. Uh, he has a lot of like brain damage probably from fighting in the UFC for years, so he's not all there anymore. He didn't take the training very seriously. He just did it for money. So he's, he doesn't even care. He lost. He got paid more than probably his last three UFC fights combined. He made that money versus Jake Paul. He barely got hurt in on UFC can yekila khabit knees to the face or elbows to him boxing gloves compared to UFC gloves is much lighter than what he's yeah. used to so he's happy he might get a rematch with him maybe bi'amlu MMA he's going to get paid a lot more money literally he just did it for money but so. knockout to Jake Paul said like Jake Paul Jake Paul is not a great boxer but he he's yeah he has a great team around him he, he's good at the fundamentals and yeah, he's a good fundamental boxer and yeah. man yeah. I can't look at him and say he's shitty but he's not Super impressive to watch. I'm like, yeah, he's a good boxer, but it's kind of boring and he's not amazing. But so no, come in and Nate Diaz, Ali, bro, did you watch the fight? 
Yeah. He would look away and just walk and like yeah. 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 Proud. He didn't give a fuck So you can't be, And he didn't take it that seriously So you can't be upset that he lost But so no Jake Paul is a decent fighter They're not bad but They have great teams They're dedicated They spend a lot of money yeah, They're pretty wow. crazy man. Rami Naous Just a couple of couple updates on the Nami now. Just a couple of fun more videos that we found. Yeah. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of you guys liked him. A lot of you guys found him annoying. Uh, I found him in you know, a Some of his videos get copyrighted. Let's see. Hey, that's just a bit of it. So Honey's talking about why he stands on these like painful... Uh, Some Tarantino thing. shit. Yo, <sighs> Mr. Guru. What? Isn't it painful? Of course. That's the point. So why? You do it. Once you start doing stuff that you don't want to do, but you know they are beneficial for you, okay, you start building resilience. So how does resilience affect my life? Read the description. <laughs> chips? That's the, the, the chips guy. The chips guy is supposed to be like me or us, like you know, lazy, sitting eating chips, you know, unhealthy habits. Yeah. While he's the, you know, hell, he is a healthy guy. Look again, I'm not trying to hate on the guy. I, li yeah. I like no these. These are my favorites. I can't know. wake up, bro. Ma fi yawa abla nis kafe u cigar. Bro, balash galat. Bas tuwa rasak biwa me jismak. Jismak bado yitharak fiwa. Oom, shi, rkod, nafas. Abla nis kafe u abla cigar. Jamon li bado kye. Al ad hain, bro. Like, I like this video because he didn't tell you no. I ate a banana cafe with my He wasn't. Like he that. wasn't judgmental. He's yeah. like, you know what? <coughs> go for a run. Go for a walk. Then smoke your cigarette. No, I no, like that. Uh, no, I mean, that's nice respect. of him. Respect. Respect. that's nice. Okay. Everybody's got their habits. Everybody's got their routine. Oh, hey, I like this one too. تعبان اليوم. من شو تعبان برو؟ عمرك عشرين سنة وتعبان. بعدين تعبان. قبل ما بتنام. تأكل. دخن وتطقش. همك تعب براسك ونسيت شو عم بتكبي جسمك تعرف شو يعني تكون انسان توعى تركض تتنفس ساعي نام سبع ساعات وتكون مرتاح وهم شوف قد ايه قوي انت يا انسان بس لف حبايبيز بس نديم we're gonna need the when I'm doing my final Rocky training montage, uh, you're gonna need to drive in a car with Saudi Arabia. Barefoot. We're gonna no, yeah. barefoot ma, ma, with shoes, obviously. <laughs> monkeys, folks. We've been talking about monkeys lately. <laughs> <laughs> the the monkey running towards the man is my favorite new subgenre of tweets. The monkey. It's, it's amazing. That's yeah, no, I am in what time I let and I don't like monkeys. My DMs kill on this. You about monkeys, huh? monkeys and we laugh. We watched, we watched, I don't like them. We watched the video last week. Uh, sad in we, we watched the video last week of a monkey mm. in your honor. The monkeys attacking the tourists. In your honor. Hey, th this is how this, this, this took a turn. This is the monkey that's been running towards the guy. Hone, they took it a bit too far. I was not okay with this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm questioning a lot of things now, bro. Why are you <sighs> kissing that monkey? I'm, let's watch that again. So disturbing. Hello, look, it's kind, of, it's kind of cute. I'm not gonna, you know what I mean? Lights, and lights. I, and I get, cute. Wait a second, wait a second. Everybody. And I get disturbed when, like, parents in the states, it's a thing for like white, for some reason, white people. They kiss their kids on the lips, like dads. Yeah. Like, come here, come here, little Christopher. They peck him on the lips. It's fucking weird. This is a little monkey. I don't know. Uh, it's weird. Look, that look. It's weird, guys. But it know. is weird. I'm also like, you know, it's a little baby chimp, so you know, it's like a little dad type of thing. My body. F Sometimes kissing a person that you don't know is weird. So what? What if? You're but he knows monkey. this monkey. The monkey runs to him every time. You can't. We can't yeah, deny that the monkey knows this man. It's a monkey, bro. Sadden, where? I know my cat, my boo, so I tell Look, I'm not gonna die on the hill of kissing monkeys <laughs> on the lips. I'm just saying. I'm trying to find a way to still enjoy this man's content. Let's watch well, it. Enjoy it. Very kind of only fans. It's such yeah, like no. a little. <laughs> it's such a little peck. Like what's like? I want you to zoom into this. Pas <laughs> it's such a passionate kiss, bro. You know what I mean? Like the monkey's really into the monkey's really into that shit. Like it's closed. The monkey closed. They're both closing their eyes. It's like a, they're literally shutting their eyes for this. Like when you when you just look at the photo, it looks romantic in a way. All right, this is fucked up. So I had to I had to see it. I had to pause it to be fucked up. There's another monkey man uh, in the UAE. 
This guy is called <laughs> MDXB2. Now, this guy's got an orangutan. <laughs> Let's enjoy this orangutan. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird, bro. It's so much cuter than a regular child. I'd rather have a monkey than a child, yeah. I'd rather have neither. Come on. He's not very. He doesn't. He doesn't. Look at that. I'm on the mall. I'm on the hallway. Orangutans are adorable. Yeah, he's putting shampoo on his head. He doesn't know what the fuck he's doing, bro. But. Freaky, freaky. <laughs> freaky, freaky. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, it's sad. Leave the monkeys in the wild. Check this out. This is after the shower. This is after the shower. Hala, this is. I don't know if this is animal abuse. Hala. First of all. Like, what the? Good honor. I swear, like, leave the monkeys in the wild. I swear, like, high in the Yeah, yeah. Look, this is animal abuse in a way. In a way. These animals do not belong in houses. They belong in the wild, obviously. Again, watch Tiger King. It's a very interesting look into the like seedy underbelly. <laughs> of, of of all these people like you know there's there are more tigers in captivity than there are in the wild like the shit it's fucking crazy man you know what i mean uh, <laughs> bro if i could replace all y'all with monkeys i would if i could have a monkey sitting here and a monkey sitting there <laughs> 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 they, they would be so cute they would just be adorable man <laughs> monkeys. what do you think about that topic you know big <laughs> 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 that's the kind of entertainment that people want hot gorilla gorilla mahalak that will, will destroy me. We're almost that we're getting we're getting to the <coughs> gay cake experiment, folks. The, the, the rainbow <laughs> cakes. Are we gonna become gay? Uh <laughs> Lebanon I did not know there was a community of Swifties be the men. Uh and they, apparently there was a Swifties <laughs> night. There was a Swifties night somewhere. Uh so this is a TikTok. It says POV you attend our Swifties night in Beirut. Do you know what place this is? Swifties night. Hey, bar. What the fuck? <laughs> You can't avoid singing the sad voice. Someone's doing a vlog. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I do not want to get in the way of Swifty. Swifty's. Uh, do your thing. Do your thing. Do your thing. Do your thing. And I like Taylor Swift. I never, I was never a fan of her music. Oh, when I was young, listen to like I, I like her as a person. She's always been like a very responsible, good like example for younger girls. My you know, compared to, to fucking uh, Miley Cyrus. Personally, I'm when I think of like nightmare blunt rotations, I would rather like smoke a blunt with Taylor Swift than a lot of other. Artists mm. from her like age yeah, range or like category. Yeah. Plus she was one of the just my wife. I'm I'm getting older, guys. She was a mretbe. Shway slightly just like <laughs> played it safe. Mab to charmat with music videos. Shway del konyan. They gonna have bro hug that my Cyrus. True. Has act that I would like blunt rotate with my Cyrus. No, Miley Cyrus seems like a nightmare, bro, to hang out with all these people. She seems like Jared Leto. Hey, hey, the I do I do not want to hang out with these people. Like I'm I'm not kidding. My wife she on Taylor Swift. Me neither. I'm not Taylor Swift, nor Kanye. All I, and I've always thought she's extremely bland. Like just the way she looks, the way she, like the way she dances, her music. 
I don't know. Maybe one of, one of the Bear episodes had a Taylor Swift song at the end. I was like, you know what? Taylor Swift isn't that fucking bad. It made me just like Taylor Swift I'm again. I'm watching the Bear Hella. It was very good. Belushed season two. I think it might be in season two. There's an episode that ends with a Taylor Swift song. I was like, I'm a fucking Swifty wow. now. So Swifties, <laughs> respect. Respect to the Swifties. I'm like, and they want to have one direction. All for my kindness and help Taylor Swift. And they want to make sure that they're not. Oh, really? Harry Styles. Harry Styles. We're almost getting to the taste test. We're going we're gonna to do the science experiment, folks. Sci- we're doing this for science. Uh, IVS visa. Do you guys want to get a visa? This is the weirdest. Yeah, I, I don't even know how we're going to watch this thing. <laughs> okay, we're going to have to mute this. Are you with him right now? Don't lie to me. Okay, so someone's sharing some text. Mm. Sean B. Seed. Can you stop texting me? And yes, I am. So she is, his girlfriend is with someone else, folks. She even sent him a picture. She's having dinner with this other guy. It's too food. It's your loss, Saraha. My loss? You haven't took me to a date in the last five months? Is ha ha I need a man in my life, a real man. He's like, you know how busy I am at work these days? That's why I haven't had any time for myself. Saying is saying, this is going too fast. I'm going to pause it and read it. You know how busy I am these days? That's why I have no time for myself. She said, oh, really? What about your trip to Greece? You didn't even take me with you. And you probably cheated on me there too with your friends. A palm <laughs> on the face. Yeah, she's, she's upset. Haram, the guy's working hard. She doesn't appreciate him. He's like, the trip wasn't my fault and you know it. She's like, you really going to blame it on the visa? You never helped me to apply and I got rejected. I really wanted to go with all of you. You knew I had no idea how to apply for a visa and you knew I was going to get rejected. She's upset, folks. His girlfriend is upset. That's why she's ha- cheating on him. What is he going to say? Should I hear Allah? He's laughing at him. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> <laughs> Compelling stuff. <laughs> What's so funny? She says. He says, you're so dumb for not applying with IVS. Huh? huh? What's huh? that? Huh? IVS huh? sounds like, a, like an STD, by the way. <laughs> uh, he sends, oh, good. He sends a link. I visa services, leading international company specialized in visa services. They offer free consultancy also. <laughs> what? I apply visa with, services. Apply with them next time. They've got over nine years of experience and no one knows the process better than they do. She's shocked. She's sending all them shocked emojis. You know what I mean? If you had a man, she was on the table and <laughs> whatever, whatever this marketing trend is folks i'm not into it it's working i don't like it i don't know if it is working it is it working are you using ivs visa services ivs but the visa it is we got to talk about the uh, Pandor TikTok, I said, yeah. But we, we, uh, we got to thank, first of all, our friends, Vintero Studios, folks. Vintero. So a couple days ago, we get an email. They're like, here's a link. I'm like, what? what's in there? And they basically, they made a little reel out of our conversation on the phone last week with the Pandor employee. They made a TikTok for us. Here, let's watch it. I said, yeah. Hey, bonsoir. Bonsoir. Yeah, I'll you a question. Do you rainbow cake? اه صلوا قد ايه بطل عندكم؟ سؤالك ليش مستلفيني عارف؟ بدي اشتري منه؟ لا ما عندنا منه صار لكم زمان او؟ ما عندنا ما عندنا منه خايف منه شيء مش من مش رح شكيك ولا شيء استاذ ما عندنا منه ما عندنا منه اول رايت العالم هبل اجلك بعرف انا انا معك لقلك ليش استاذ سوري انا بنبيع رينبو هلا صار للمثليين بنبيع رينبو وعم يقطعوا على بندوري عيب الشوم عليهم انا معك انا الناس واثقين وتافهين ثانك يو ثانك يو يعطيك العافيه Uh, so, thank you to the guys. Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you to the guys for making them. This is a quick video of Vintero Studios. They've, they, look, they've done they, their own controversy, their own drama. Check this out. في مرة اكونت مشهور كثير على تيك توك حكينا كرمان نصور له فيديوهات فاتفقنا نحن وياه واخذنا الكاميرات الاضاءة والميكروفونز ورحنا لعنده تبلش التصوير ورحنا لعندهم صورنا لهم 10 فيديوهات وكل شيء كان كثير منيح وخلصنا تصوير قلنا لهم انه نحن بنقبض نص الدفع قبل المونتاج ونص الباقي من بعد المونتاج شرعونا وقالوا لنا لا ما بيدفع غير من بعد المونتاج كرمال الفيديوهات بحال طلعوا مش منيح قلنا لهم اوكي ما في مشكلة رحنا على الاستوديو وعملنا المونتاج كله ورجعنا بعثنا له الفيديوز وقالوا انه لا مش رح يدفعوا لنا لانه ما حبوا الفيديوز ونحن قلنا لهم انه لا ما اتفقنا هيك عملنا الشغل كله هون الزلمه تحول وبلش يتوسخن بكلامه ويسب وهيك 
واخر شيء انتهت لبلوك عملنا بلوك هو ومن بعد جمعه شفنا انه هالمحل نزل كل الفيديوهات اللي نحن عاملين له اياهم على السوشيال ميديا تبعهم فهالفيديو هي بس تنقول لهالمحل اذا ما عطيتونا حقنا حنفضحكم ونقول انتم مين فينتيرو وي هاف يور باكس شو ما بدكم نحن نحن بندعمكم ثانك يو فور ذات فيديو اوز فكت اب يعني هيك قصص كثير بتصير بلبنان اي دونت نو اذا فضحون اونستلي اي هافنت فولود اب سو ذيز ار ذيم ثانك يو جايز بس ون ذا سو ذات تيك توك وي وي بوستد ات على تيك توك وي جات سو ماني Honestly, like homophobic comments. I think people misunderstood what we were trying to do. They were like, W Pandor, Eid of al So many comments are like, Eid of al Eid of Bro, TikTok is such a homophobic cesspool. Honestly, yeah. I fucking hate TikTok, man. Kilman Nazil Shi, where we even talk about, we mention gay people or trans people, Binzalul comments. Kitir Filtain, bro, TikTok. I honestly don't even want to post stuff on there anymore. Edma. And I want to tell you too, bro. Like, I want to tell you. Like, literally, a guy threatened, but do it. Bahne al. He's like, and just because we talk about gay people, people assume that you're gay on TikTok. We're being like, fake insults and shit. Like, it's but I but but it's bahak. Bro, I'm like, what the fuck, bro? Tell me, tani. I hope you're fucking watching, you little cunt. So. <laughs> it's there's Anjad. I don't have the right to respond to people. No. What gives them the right to come and comment and like fucking literally threaten people with violence? You know, Anjad sometimes Arab al Balad, bro, Arab al Alam, that that thing. But no, TikTok is just fucking gross, man. And people misunderstood this video. I'm sad because this got a lot of views. And people are going like W Pandor, A Rebel Loat, A Uman Ha, A Rebel Mithin. It's like that's not what we were trying to say. People are dumb for making a big deal out of a rainbow cake. We're not calling gay people dumb because they they like rainbows. Like Hika Khadua, you know what I mean? Oh, again, that Pandor employee, good on him. No, Haram, he's dealing with a lot of shit. But A Rebel Pandor as an institution, because they're homophobic and they literally put out a whole statement saying that they do not support the gay community. So I would not support any institution that discriminates against people, especially in 2023. <laughs> fucking enjoy their shitty ass fucking cakes. Who even likes Pandor? Pandor anyways. Nothing fucking tastes good over there, bro. How fragile do you have to be as a brand that and a cake that you obviously do for 18 so years yeah. to for because of something like this? Yeah, Pandor is I know. A, it's it's not W Pandor, it's L Pandor. Okay, Pandor are fucking pussies. Go back to the comments. You know, w Pandor again the, the employee was right. He's probably been getting phone calls like this all day. So no. I just fucking hate TikTok with the people, the community at TikTok. But lie enough is, man. Anjad, no offense mm-hmm. if you're coming here from TikTok. I'm just careful. I'm not going to have a pandor. I'm not going to have a cake. Obviously, I can't feel. Yeah, yeah, Muffy, they're not going to have a cake anymore. <laughs> but thank you for Vintego for making that video. Uh, they literally just sent it out of nowhere. Very nice of you guys. Uh, got us a whole bunch of followers on TikTok. I hope they're not all fucking homophobic. But um, yeah. Anyways, we're about to get to the... We're, we're, look, we've been talking about rainbow cakes and pandor and all that shit. It's time for us to put our mouth, our money where our mouth is. Whatever. It's time to fucking eat some rainbow cake and see if it turns us gay. Why are people afraid of it? But before we get to trying those rainbow cakes, folks, I just want to take a second to thank some of our amazing patrons, folks. Some of our amazing blonde patrons like Enzo S, Firas Abu Fakhr, Antoinette Saab, Malik UX, Le Josh, Paul, Christelle, and Lily. And Dr. Octopus. And Lucas with an R. And superhero patrons like Ray Adi, Ned, Jabdallah, uh, Ryan Nabulsi, Joey Dabul, and our got your patrons, Jessica and Rifat Fakih, and Burgery, the best burgers in Tripoli. If you guys want to support us on Patreon, make sure that the show can keep going. Make sure that I can afford to buy rainbow cakes for us to try <laughs> on this show. This shit ain't cheap, y'all. Uh, support us. We'd, uh, you know, we very much appreciate you guys. We dropped some exclusive content. We have an extended episode of the Jadar Dakani Muhammad the Dietitian episode with a full, uncut, like 15 fucking minute rant where I tell you how I really feel. Anyways, <laughs> let me go get some of those rainbow cakes. Go. And let's get ready. <laughs> okay, we're about to get a whole lot of other pastries and restaurants in trouble, baby. You think Pandor got it bad? Gustav, get ready for some phone calls from Jnudr Rab. <laughs> let's see. <laughs> so, we got, so from, from Cocoa and Co. in Badaru, we got a couple of rainbow club sandwiches. So, I don't know if you guys can see these here. This is a very colorful <laughs> rainbow club <laughs> sandwich. <laughs> Sh- show them on your camera because only there's too much light. Do you think it's I guess. 
هلا we'll get some good close-ups of everything before we get to eat them. Use your phone. هلا نديم وسوي كل شيء in close-ups. We have what are these right here? So these are from uh, better from scratch. These are oh these are a couple of well they don't look rainbowy right now but these are little rainbow balls. What are these? Cake uh, pops. Cake pops. So. On the inside, they, these should have rainbow inside. So let's cut one in the middle. Get a nice close-up. And from Gustav. They smell great. <laughs> from Gustav, we got, uh, what are these called? The push-up push up pops? Push-up. Rainbow. Like basically, this is like the gayest Yay, item here. These are like rainbow lollipops. Yeah, Allah, this is like a fucked up rainbow. Uh, it's still a rainbow. It's still a rainbow. So here, so check these out. Rainbow. Here, you guys get one. So we don't get some nice close-ups of those, Nadim. They're so cute. Uh, folks, stuff. this is about to get pretty gay. Let's <laughs> see. Let's see. We're gonna eat these, okay? Uh, have some plates. Thanks. Have some plates. Uh, and I need a fork and knife. You guys already have a knife. You get a couple of forks. Folks are going to try an assortment of all this gay stuff. I mean, all this rainbow stuff. And let's see what's going on. Are we going to turn gay? Why are people so afraid? Again, guys, like, it's kind of ridiculous. Rainbows are naturally occurring after a storm. You'll often see a rainbow in the sky. And how does that not scare have a cake pop. people? I'm going to have a cake pop. Here. So, I'm going to cut my cake pop. Here. Yo, what do you mean? Ooh, this one's very... Mine is pretty good, actually. So check, yeah, like they're not rainbow colored. So <laughs> check this out. <laughs> I, what's the actual? I don't know the actual like order um, of rainbow red, colors. Orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Nice. For signs, cheers. Let's see if we turn gay. <laughs> cheers. Tastes like chocolate. Tastes like Play-Doh. <laughs> It tastes like chocolate with like food coloring. Mm. It's not bad. No, it's not. It's very sweet. Do you eat it? Yeah. It is. I mean, I think I, I hate that the white thing. Frosting. I think I feel pretty no normal. I'm all right. I'm doing okay. <laughs> Now, this could be the gayest thing ever, because this, oh, okay. even eat this the way someone would place a penis in their mouth. Sorry for the <laughs> vulgarity. This is going to get messy. Oof, not on the laptop. Not on the laptop. I like the, the thing. So I have to push this up? Yeah. And stick it in my mouth, huh? I'm going to take a little bite. For science, folks. I still feel pretty straight, though. I don't like how this tastes. I'll just be straight up with you guys. I don't like white chocolate. I don't know what that white stuff is. I shouldn't have bitten this so that when you guys could have taken it. I don't enjoy that. Oh, it's like some cream cheese. Anyways. What's next? I'm not feeling anything. Nothing's happening to me. I don't know what people are afraid of. It's just colorful food. It's colorful cake. You know what I mean? This is like a heart attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, too yeah, much, too much. This is like sicker, bro. Fina and dubba, huh? Nerja. On the. Halloween tabak. Really? Mm. Thank you. I like your hair. <laughs> Whoa. The you got the big piece. Yeah. What the fuck was that? The big piece? I don't want the big piece. No, you're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> this is so much sugar and food coloring. Look at this. Look at this nice uh, cross section <laughs> of this club sandwich. You got good food. <laughs> 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 this is such a colorful <laughs> plate. <laughs> this is a very colorful plate. All right, let's try this for science again. Unfortunately, Anthony, Haida Haikon, that is.
لا 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 انتوني آه انت امبارح صدمتني صراحه انت بتعرف انت اليوم شو عملت انتوني؟ اي جيف يو انفيت انتوني؟ انتوني بيك شي؟ انا شو تلمون ديسكيو دو انتوني سام بيكو بتاع موبلي I think hey, no, the there's most, no flavor. The most normal one. But hey, ma el ano man na type. Look, I think the cake pop. This was the tastiest thing. I did not like this thing. Straight up, did not like it. Um, the club sandwich has no flavor. Pap, merci tira al gato yet. Thank you, Anjad. Thank you. Tula halak merci. You guys feel anything from these cakes? I feel pretty normal. Uh, let's wrap it up, folks. Thank you for watching the show. There's some nasty shit on my microphone. What happened? Did I do something weird? Did something happen? Did you guys see anything? So on that note, folks, uh, we, uh, thank you for watching, folks. I don't think the cake has made me any gayer than I was before. I don't think this has changed anything, folks. These are all rumors. Uh, Rainbow cakes are safe. Okay, what's up? What you looking at, boy? <laughs> oh, yeah. What you looking at? I don't know what people are talking about. I don't know what they're freaking out of. Nadim, stop! Huh? <laughs> you see, nothing's happening. We're all completely normal. Rainbow products are safe, folks. Jnudarab is a bet called Tehesh Pococo and Co. Amumza. Gustav and better from scratch. Respect. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Anjana, we're kidding. Keep doing, guys. This stuff is fun. This is colorful. Okay. And if an adult wants to buy this because they're gay, let them. It's okay. It's okay. Stop freaking out. You have no money. The banks have taken your money. rainbow cake. Everybody just fucking relax for a second. Love each other for a second. <laughs> and you know so anyways thank you for watching folks thank you to our patrons if you guys want to subscribe to our patreon and support us uh, we really appreciate you uh, over there the show cannot exist without you our got to your patrons jessica and nifat fakih burgery superhero patrons like joey dabul dr william watfa the boobs doctor and beautiful blonde patrons like joe Hudi, uh, uh karen's cravings and el jj we love you guys so much uh, watch Spider-Verse, it's out. You can stream it right now. Uh, and God bless. And as always, folks, do not worry.